Hello there, this will kickstart a series of what hopefully will be short videos that will cover the essentials of the CCNA routing and switching. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright, first let's talk hardware and cables so we can get it out of the way. There are many types of devices which, when connected with each other, they would form what we call a network. You got the famous routers and switches, firewalls, hubs, layer 3 switches, and devices like a PC, a laptop, a phone, printer, smart this, smart that, air conditioner, a bathtub, a coffee machine, you, you name it. Well, it's confusing if we try to learn about all of them at the same time. Like Da Vinci said, baby steps win the race. Am I right? So for now, we'll focus only on routers and switches, and maybe throw in a PC or two, and indulge a printer as well. First, and speaking of PCs, here's one at the workplace that is not connected to anything and the IT people deleted solitaire from it to make it extra useless. In fact, there are many of them in every cubicle. And then here it comes a switch that's got a lot of ports in it, hopefully enough for these PCs. Now the cabling people came along and run a bunch of cables from the switch through the wall, around the conference room, behind the toilet to a wall jack in each cubicle behind the user's PCs. Then another cable from the PC to the wall. With a little help from the IT people, these PCs can now communicate with each other, exchange files from A to B, even share a printer. Hell, they're even given a name, a LAN, a local area network. Well, that's a promotion for you. But sooner rather than later, these PCs will get bored of each other and they would say, we need to communicate outside our local network. There's this YouTube everybody's talking about and we ain't got none of it right here. So the IT people got a router to solve the problem and prevent a riot. Because a router is what marks the border of a LAN and allows outside connections to another network. After intense negotiation between the IT people and the service provider, the latter allowed this router to connect to a wide area network called the internet in exchange for money. And the cable people had to come again, who are quite knowledgeable by the way, because they know that they had to use straight through cables between the PCs and the switch and between the router and the switch. So they did that and went home. The IT people went to the PCs to deliver the good news. They were like, ladies and gentlemen, now we have connection outside our organization going to the internet. The terms of use are as follow. First, you must know where you're going up to. That could be a website or service through an app. For example, youtube.com or Netflix without chill. Second, once you decide where you're going, you must deliver your request to our router living in our land, which from now on we refer to as the default gateway, and it will take it from there. Now the PCs are happy with the news because they can communicate with each other as well as outside to the internet. 